the dumbest things Kyrie Irving has ever said. Hey everyone and welcome back to Bucket Central. Nobody can deny Kyrie Irving is one of the best players in the NBA. Matter of fact, he is regarded as the most entertaining player to watch. From crazy handles to awesome combos, Kyrie is the ultimate showstopper with no go-to moves. The man is really a basketball wizard. However, Kyrie Irving is known for being somewhat weird and a bit outspoken. Today, we're going to be talking about the dumbest things Kyrie Irving has ever said. Make sure you hang around to the very end where we ask ourselves, what was Kyrie Irving thinking when he said that? Christmas is not a holiday. In 2017, Kyrie shared his latest mind-boggling idea with the media following the Celtics' 102-93 loss to the Knicks. He doesn't think of Christmas as a holiday. He said, quote, The hoopla on Christmas. I really don't get into that. I don't necessarily think of Christmas as a holiday, Irving said. What? Christmas is not a holiday. There are no jingle bells, Santa Claus, soul food cooking moments in Kyrie's family. And who hates Christmas anyway? But we are not done. Kyrie Irving is really not into holidays. F Thanksgiving. What did you say? Millions of Americans celebrate Thanksgiving by carving up a turkey, some mashed potatoes, and sitting back with relatives and watching a football game on TV. Kyrie Irving, however, doesn't join them. He locks himself up in his room with some Jumanji occult book about square planets and delirious smokes. Kyrie made his feelings about the holiday abundantly clear in 2018 as he walked off the court following a 117-109 loss to the New York Knicks. A media member shouted, Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving, Kyrie replied. To Kyrie's defense, his mother was born into the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe before she was adopted and the 2016 NBA champion was given a name, Hela, which means Little Mountain in Lakota language when he visited the tribe in North Dakota in August. While for some, the day celebrates a time when Native Americans and pilgrims came together in peace upon the latter's arrival in North America, to others the holiday is seen as a reminder of colonists violently killing off Native Americans. We could have let that go, but he seemed to have a very different opinion about the holiday seven years prior to that. In 2011, the then Cleveland Cavalier took to Twitter to wish a happy Thanksgiving to his followers, and the message was dug up by discerning Twitter user soon after Irving's profanity-filled remarks emerged. The man does not only make dumb statements, but is full of contradictions also. Spoken speech doesn't convey as well as written statements. Kyrie has always had an uncomfortable relationship with the press. You see, the man likes people to think he's deep and intelligent. Combined with the conspiracy theories, Kyrie always feels like the message he is trying to pass is being misconstrued. At the beginning period of the 2021 season, Kyrie made the decision not to personally speak with the media. It didn't matter to him that his contract clearly stipulated he had to be available to the media. He was not having it, and he released a statement which he claimed to avoid being misconveyed. How do you ignore the media and release a statement instead? Even us ordinary beings know a one-on-one -on -one convo with a person is much clearer than a vague statement. Needless to say, the NBA was not having it and the dude was fined. Of course, that didn't stop him from diving into even more weird talk. Remember when we said he was full of contradictions? More of that is on the way. I plan on re-signing here. In his one season with the Celtics, where he averaged 24.4 points and 5.1 assists in 60 games, a lingering knee injury forced him to shut down his season early and miss the postseason. During the course of the year, the then 26-year-old made a statement that would come to bite him later on in his career. In a fan-filled interview in TD Garden, Kyrie announced, If you guys will have me back, I plan on re-signing here. For a person who had said the same thing to the Cleveland fans, you would think it would shy away from such an announcement having seen the unpredictable nature of the NBA. Not Kyrie. Needless to say, he changed his mind deciding to take his talents to the Brooklyn Nets. Amazingly, in an interview upon joining the Nets and breaking hearts in Boston, Kyrie said this about his new team. I always knew I wanted to play here. I wouldn't change anything about this journey. Would you bet on that? If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so and keep watching to the very end as we reveal the dumbest thing Kyrie has ever said. Start a new league. If you remember correctly, Kyrie was one of the players who did not want to participate in the 2020 NBA bubble. 
Not that it would have mattered greatly, as he was already injured having undergone surgery. But what was not widely reported was that not only did Kyrie Irving want to skip Disney and the rest of the NBA season, but he also wanted to start a whole new league. Yes, you heard that correctly. He wanted to start his own version of the NBA. Kyrie wanted to lead the NBA and forego his huge contract and open up his own league. He must not have seen what happened to LeVar Ball's JBL League. The idea is simply atrocious. If you have been following Kyrie's ideas, then you know he thinks people who work for big companies are pawns. But if everybody started his own thing, who would work for who? Irving proposed the bold move to start a chat with his teammates and one of them snitched on his awful idea. Irving, a six-time All-Star, had been at the forefront of a pushback against the league's plans to restart under a bubble just outside of Orlando. The funny thing was all this happened after the league and the Players Association, of which Kyrie was a senior member, had moved on from discussing whether the league would return to how it would operate. Irving then changed his mind. He, along with Dwight Howard, argued that NBA players should sit out the remainder of the season in order to focus on advocating for racial equality. This would have been a bad idea as it turned out players did a better job bringing awareness to the social issue while playing in front of the cameras. Howard actually said there should be no basketball until we get things resolved. As if to suggest racism could be stamped out in a matter of months. Basketball is not the most important thing in my life right now. Kyrie Irving, after being fined for not meeting with the media, this time sparked interest by telling reporters that basketball was not the most important thing in his life. Fair enough, but what got tongues wagging was what was considered as the most important things in his life. All events in the world, including the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, are currently the main focus. This was utterly flabbergasting. We can understand if you have a passion for a certain issue, of course, but all the events in the world? You either have to be Superman or have a special case of BS. You can guess which is more likely the one. He did try to clarify, though. I'm not lying to you. A lot of things are happening in this world. Basketball isn't the most important thing to me right now, Irving said. A lot of things are happening abroad. Our people are still in slavery all over the world, and the process of dehumanization is very much going on. Deep. Maybe we were wrong to criticize him, but no. Ultimately, Kyrie went into the absurd realm again saying, It's not just in Palestine, but in Israel, all over the world, and I feel so sorry for it. For all races, all cultures, and so on. There is no letting up for Kyrie Irving. Now for the dumbest thing Kyrie Irving has ever said. And one thing which made us ask, what in the blue skies was he thinking when he said that? The Earth is flat. Walking around on the planet's surface, it looks and feels flat, doesn't it? So what's the issue? Why does the scientific community get so peeved by flat earthers? First, let's get this out of the way right off the bat. The Earth is not flat. Most people know this, but the internet has given rise to a growing group of conspiracy-happy people who believe the Earth is flat and surrounded by walls of ice, and that NASA has been fabricating evidence to the contrary. That's not only very dumb, but dangerous. And you know who buys into it? Kyrie Irving. During the Road Tripping podcast with RJ and Channing Fry, Kyrie asked, Do you think the Earth is round? Fry and Jefferson said yes, but Irving was not having it. This is not even a conspiracy theory, Kyrie said. The Earth is flat. No, this is not a joke. Kyrie Irving genuinely thinks that the Earth isn't a sphere. This is probably one of the dumbest conspiracy theories out there to believe. There's plenty of scientific proof that the Earth is, in fact, a sphere. Scientists out there are probably sobbing. How can you be a learned fellow from Duke and believe in this dumb conspiracy? Is this really what a quality education from Duke looks like? Duke is out here producing citizens that thinks the Earth is flat? Shame, shame. Let's get serious, though. It is dangerous for a player of Kyrie's stature to believe in this nonsense because it validates other loonies out there. People who believe in a flat Earth are more likely to believe that the moon landing was faked. 9-11 did not happen and vaccines don't work. If you believe in this crap, keep it to yourself, man. If we have offended any flat earth believers out there, don't worry. We are an accommodating channel and you're more than welcome to yell at us and argue in the comment section. 
Don't get us wrong, we don't think Kyrie Irving is a bad guy or lacks intelligence. But he does have to be careful about what he says. You can't go around regurgitating absurd conspiracy theories and expect people to be okay with it. Keep that stuff to yourself or to members of your secret society who share the same ideas as you do. NBA players should also realize the millions of dollars in the contract come hand in hand with accountability for any words you spew. Thank you for watching the video to the very end. Click one of the two videos on your screen and catch up with some more NBA videos. Remember, do not forget to subscribe and like our channel. See you in the next one.